Last episode, in part one of the story of erasers, we looked at the history of the pencil eraser and discovered that making mistakes can be really scary without them. Join us now for part two as we explore the various types of erasers and erasing accessories available today. Welcome to Art Expedition. To remove pencil marks, an eraser needs to be both abrasive to loosen graphite from the paper and sticky to pick it up. Heat caused by friction from rubbing helps. Most erasers leave tiny bits of eraser mixed with graphite behind. Eraser dust. For many years, erasers were made from natural rubber. Today, thanks to advances in science, we have a variety of erasers made with different materials. Rubber erasers are the erasers that many of us find in our schools and offices. They're made with natural or synthetic rubber. Many are pink. This started when the Eberhard Faber company added pink Italian pumice to their rubber to make their erasers more abrasive. Their eraser, the Pink Pearl, became a hit in the early 20th century, and other pink erasers soon followed. The rubber eraser is usually inexpensive and good for basic erasing needs. Some lesser quality rubber erasers, however, will smear and leave stains, so be careful. Gum erasers tend to be tan or brown and are softer and less abrasive than your standard rubber eraser. They'll crumble much more easily as they absorb the graphite, so they don't last as long. They're great for working on wide areas or especially with more delicate papers. Kneaded erasers are soft and stretchy and kind of fun. Their versatility allows you to erase large areas or small simply by changing their shape. They don't crumble. Instead, the eraser absorbs the graphite. Then, they are kneaded to make them fresh. Vinyl erasers, sometimes called plastic erasers, are made of soft vinyl plastic and are harder and tougher than other erasers. As a result, they can easily tear your paper if you're not careful. Yet I've found that vinyl erasers are one of the best to completely and cleanly erase. Pencil type erasers, also known as erasals, are erasers that look like pencils. They have a soft vinyl core that can be sharpened. Some come with a brush on one end to remove eraser dust. There are other types that resemble mechanical pencils and click to advance their eraser. Erasals are great for getting into small areas. Electric erasers are battery or plug-in erasers that rapidly vibrate to erase quickly and neatly in tight areas. They are, however, much more expensive. Then there are novelty erasers. While they're not very good at erasing, they come in a wide variety of shapes and colors that some people find fun and enjoy collecting. There are also a couple of older eraser accessories that can still come in handy today. Eraser shields are very small, thin sheets of metal designed with different shaped spaces. They let you remove graphite from tight areas and keep you from ripping your paper. For decades, the eraser brush was near the desk of artists and draftsmen, ready to remove mounds of excess eraser particles at a moment's notice. As more and more people turned to digital creations, they became as scarce as buffalo on the prairie or slide rules. Ask your grandparents. But there are a few of us holdouts out there keeping our drawing boards clean the old school way. What's the best eraser for you? Good question. Well, that'll depend on the graphite and the paper you use. Some artists use different erasers in different situations. Ultimately, you will be the best judge of which eraser works best for you. Give them a try. From its humble start as bread, the eraser has become an important supply for the artist. Small and inexpensive, erasers allow you to make mistakes. They give you the ability to change your mind or experiment. You have the freedom to draw or write in peace. Now that's a powerful tool that can help you correct and create on your creative journey. Just make sure you have one handy. Thank you for spending time here. For Art Expedition, I'm Kevin Van Norman. What will you create? Like and subscribe.